Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Here we are back in Las Vegas. Yes, and it's a, it's a Tuesday. Yes. And it's a, I wouldn't say it's empty, but people are here. The airport was busy yes. coming in. We so. were here just for one night. Yeah. We're staying at the Park MGM, never our first it. time. Yeah, I've first time. So uh, we already checked in earlier. Uh, they allowed early check-in, which was cool. So check out this room. Welcome to the Park MGM. We're on the 28th floor. And look at this great view we have. We have the uh, the city center there, Aria. You can see the Cosmopolitan in the background, Badara, and part of the Bellagio. So technically, we do have a sliver of a strip view. Look at the pools down there. Of course, we're not gonna hit up the pool on this trip, but it does look pretty inviting. And the weather is like 85 or 88. Look how beautiful. Today. Yeah. Oh gosh. And man, it's gonna be lit up really well. Mm -hmm. So this is our room. We have a really long couch over here. We have two queen size bed and they're very low. So, this is definitely not one of those beds that you have to like hop onto. You can just kind of sit down, right? Check out the TV. It's a good size, like a 55, 60 inch or so. Um, we have a lot of ports over here. You can connect things, I guess, to the TV. Uh, artwork on the wall. Full size mirror. And then check out the, uh, check out the bathroom right here. Go ahead and give a tour of that, babe. This bathroom is really big. Here is the shower. I like it because it has doors. Yes. But a lot of room in there. So you can see here are your towers of towels, body lotion, everything. So a toilet and your sink. Yeah, and is there a closet here? Sliding oh, door. Yeah. So yeah, one side closes the door to the restroom and this one opens up like access to drawers and the in-room safe. Yeah, very shallow in-room safe. Yeah. There you go, right there. So that's it. This is our two bedroom room here at the uh, Park MGM. Mm -hmm. This will do. We're yep. here just for one night. And we got on hotel tonight. Yes. And this is what they had available. Since right. we don't pick if it's one bedroom or one bed, two bed, this is what they give us whatever is available. And this right. is what's available. The way we got it, $64. This is a midweek stay plus resort fee. So I think it was $45, $45 resort fee. Dollar resort so fee. add 60, 65 bucks, 64 to and the resort fee. And that's what our stay is for one night here on midweek. Do you like that view? Huh, I like the view. I like the sky today. Wow. It's just it like so tonight. beautiful. Tonight's gonna be pretty awesome. So, yeah, I can't wait till tonight, like I mentioned, so we can see all the lights from yeah. our room. Mm -hmm. So now it is lunchtime. Yep. And what we want to do is kind of highlight the Park MGM property. Yep. Yep. We're gonna try a lot of the places in Park MGM. That's right. Um, and everything looks like super good, so I'm really excited for it. Yeah. So this is gonna be a repeat, but we're gonna start lunch at Italy. Yep. Trying to hopefully somewhere different in Italy, though. Yeah, but I love that one place that has the pizza and oh, the yeah. pasta. Oh yeah, I know you do. So we might end up going back. Who knows? Okay, dokie, baby. Yeah, but uh, we're going to kind of split it to two videos on yeah, this Vegas trip. We will. So uh, we'll see what we shoot. Yep. We've been here before, but this is the only one in Italy that has an actual sit-down dining. All the rest of the places are kind of open-air dining. You would order your food and you would sit at any table that's available. So we wanted to somewhere that we can sit down and eat. We're going to start off with some lovely bread and some olive oil. Yes, they do have a prefix lunch here. And that's what we're going to get. 26 yes. bucks and it gives you an antipasti and an entree. Yes. We're going to do that. And since we haven't make it, made it to Italy yet, we can't come here yet, but at least we can get a taste of it. Yes, and check out the menu. Here it goes right here. This 
olive oil looks like really great olive color. It's probably E V O O, babe. Oh wow, very great. A very strong flavor of olive in the olive oil. You can tell that this olive oil is not like the ones you would buy in the market. This is a really fresh tasting olive oil. I think I need a little bit more balsamic to zip in with this olive oil, but itself, it tastes really good. Starting out with a glass of Italian red. And I have Prosecco. Uh, so. How do you say cheers in Italian, babe? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember, baby. Do you remember? Uh, ch is... Chow. Chow? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh, a little bit fruity. It tastes really nice. Yeah, mine tastes very grapey. Very good. Yeah. Oh, it smells sweet, but it isn't that sweet. It's really good. Yeah. Can't go, can't go wrong with the glass of red. No. First of all, check out this outdoor patio. I got Target behind me on the strip. Isn't that the best view, right? So appetizers came, and I got the bruschetta uh, something a la pear. I'm not really sure, but it's like pear and bruschetta. I don't think it was a la, but let's try it out. Get a bit of the pear ready. Get some of this uh, bruschetta ready. Okay, look at that. A little bit of basil? Or what type no, of, no, what is I, that, baby? I think that's arugula. Oh, arugula, ooh, yeah. yummy. I like arugula. Yeah, so here we go, let's try it out. Now, who'd ever thunk pear and prosciutto, like ham, would match? It does, it matches very well. This is delicious. It's so refreshing, the pear is nice and cold. The prosciutto itself is, it's so, um, not so salty, which is which is surprisingly good. So yeah, the prosciutto, pear, like this, not made in heaven. Great, great app. It's Farini prosciutto, aged with fresh pear. There we go. You can see the pear is a little bit soft, so it's like blanched really well. Here is a little bit of that arugula piece. And I have that little bit here of the prosciutto. There's my other perfect bite. Mm. Excellent. This pear is naturally sweet. A little bit saltiness of the prosciutto. And this a little bit of arugula gives you that little bit of pepper that you need in this. The sweetness is so natural in this dish. This is a, another excellent antipasti. Camprisi salad. It's heirloom tomatoes. I have my cheat sheet here. Mozzarella and fresh basil. It's beautiful looking. And if it's the same, most likely drizzled olive oil like what we had for our bread, I know it's gonna taste so good. Look at that mozzarella, it looks so fresh. Heirloom tomatoes, they look glorious. Let's get that piece. Let's get a little bit of this basil. Right there, you can see, that's the perfect bite, right there. Mm. The perfect amount of saltiness. That mozzarella really comes through very well that really good tastiness of that heirloom tomato and you top it off with that little fresh piece of basil this is excellent i recommend this highly recommend this what they do is they always give you bread in the beginning of the meal just like with a lot of other restaurants do but this is what you have to do especially when you're getting this appetizer here you take your piece of bread so be sure not to finish it you take your piece of bread and this bread is freshly done beautiful crust on that right there and then you take it and you sop all of this up that's what you really use your bread for is for that antipasti right there mm -hmm. 
So, in the beginning of your meal, don't finish your bread. You're gonna want every single bit of this antipasti. Pro tip. Pro tip. For my main, I got in the pizza category, this, what's it called, babe? Um, Panuzo Politano, it's buffalo mozzarella, broccoli, a Calabrian chili, fennel, Italian sausage. Wow, yeah, so it's basically, the, the server said it's a pizza that's folded over, it's like a pizza sandwich. So you oh, can see, good. yeah, you can see all the insides right here, and boy, I want to go for a bite here. Here we go. Uh-huh. Oh, it's good, baby. Oh, yeah. Comes with also some arugula salad. Right. First thing you taste is that cheese, that uh, buffalo uh, mozzarella. mozzarella. So fresh, yeah. probably the same one they use in the caprese salad. And that broccoli, again, nice and fresh. Can't go wrong with the Italian sausage. All mixed in with the same pizza dough that they use for their pizza. It, it, it's kind of like a like a calzone, kind of right, because it's kind of like a pizza inside of a, a pizza crust shell. This is it. Yeah, this is great. This is my glass of wine. Perfect lunch. Oh, and I have my cheat sheet right here. Basilio uh, con ragu de Mali. This is the volcano shaped pasta, and it has pork sausage, blocky rob, chili flakes, and anchovy breadcrumbs. Anchovy breadcrumbs. That sounds interesting. Let's try these breadcrumbs out. How's everything over here? Very good. Thank you. Mm. Those breadcrumbs are really good. It has that slight fish taste because of the anchovy, but it has more of a crunch. Excellent breadcrumbs. Let's try this broccoli rob, breaking everything down. Has a little bit of crunch to it. Has that great, that great bold taste for that broccoli rob. Now here is the pasta with the pork sausage. This pasta is cooked perfectly al dente. So that has that really good bite to it, that taste this sauce. Good porky flavor. It has a little bit of taste of that broccoli rub and that sauce as well. Super, super tasty with this pasta. This is like one of my favorite pastas. Now to mention, that's my a good favorite. size serving too. Mm -hmm. This is a one serving plus you get your auntie pasta. This is excellent. This is, I'd highly recommend this. Mm. Um, it's interesting. It's a good serving, but as you're eating it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna sit in your stomach. It's really flavorful. And I know who anybody who tries this, who loves the pork sausage and a broccoli raw flavor, you're gonna love this. Little wrap of la pizza, la pasta. Excellent meal. Again, we've been here before. This is the only one that has sit down table. Everything else is you order your food and you take it. It's an open air. Yeah, we did open eat uh, on the corner. There's another pasta place, uh, a homemade pasta. And that's very good too. That was really good too. Yeah, but the lunch special, the lunch prefix cannot be beat. Yeah, it's excellent. 26 bucks for yeah. your antipasti and your meal. Yeah, for then, this type of food on the strip. Yeah, and then we had a $10 glass of wine. Right, right. Very inexpensive. Delicious food. Highly recommended. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Yeah, so now we're going to walk around and just give you some shots of Italy mm -hmm. and maybe do a little shopping here.
What do you think? There's so much good dessert over here. Oh my here. gosh. I know we're gonna get gelato for sure. Everything looks so good. Look at this yeah. one. I think I wanna try this. The tiramisu on Malfi. Mascarpone cream with lemon cello, soaked, sponge. Wow. Oh my gosh, I, I, that's the one I gotta try. Oh my gosh. Look, everything looks good. Yeah. No lemon tarts though for you over here. No. But they have a lot of lemon lemon cello stuff. Yeah. You... Look at this one, baby. Cream puff with chantilly cream. Oh, wow, yeah. chantilly cream. Yeah, it's expensive for such a small serving, but you gotta try it. There's some more over there, babe. Come down and look, babe. Little bite-sized ones. Wow. This may be a better bet than a big one. What do you think, babe? Uh, yeah, if they had the same flavor. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are little bite-sized ones over here. It, it all looks good. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what we end up with. We couldn't decide what we wanted. And so luckily they served it with like little small little bite size, but we're going to be sharing these. So we got the Chantilly cream puff. Chantilly cream. We have a rum soaked little piece of, I believe it was like some sort of bread or something, baby. Uh, lemon tart. And the only, this, they only had this one big. This is a tiramisu with lemon cello. So it's a regular tiramisu, which is our favorite, the regular tiramisu, but this one is with lemon flavor. So it looks really interesting. Yeah, they're, they're cleaning tables, so we, we yeah. hope you can hear us. And they have like seating outside, who knew? Yeah, and of course we got our cup of uh, Lavazza Italian coffee mm -hmm. to match everything. Yeah. So which one is that one? Babe? This one is the lemon cello uh, tiramisu. So these little bits on top, let's see what these are. It looks like almonds. Mmm, yep. They're like candied almonds. Mm. Really good. Want to take the first bite, baby? Sure. And you can see. Every single layer is going to be in this bite. With those candied almonds out there. How's mm. that one? Our tiramisu with lemon. A little bit on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. Good lemon flavor. Did those? Did that almond crunch give it any extra factor? Oh yeah, the almonds, the little slivered almonds are really good. Like I said, good lemon flavor. Tad bit on the sweet side, but mm. will match the coffee perfectly. It's good dessert for this dessert person, which I must be a person, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's not on the sweet side because it's gonna match our, profit, our coffee perfectly. Yeah. And the lemon flavor though is very light, extremely creamy. Mm -hmm. and that it is. That little taste of almond, that candied almond with it. Mm. I really wish though that the lemon was more pronounced, but it's a good dessert. Right. I think because of the creaminess factor, it's a good dessert, but I would want it a little bit more lemony. Yeah. So this little gem here is the Chantilly little miniature cream pop looking thing. So let's give this a try. Uh, it's cold in temperature. This is almost a one biter, but I'm gonna try to bite at half of it. Oh, that was easy. Really good. Is it like Liliha? Uh, no, it's a different kind. This is not like the um, the one from Hawaii. It's more of a chocolate kind of a flavor to it. This is straight up cream. It is not overly sweet. In fact, your um, th this little lemon dish here, this is more sweeter than this. Um, yeah, this is. I can eat like a like a half dozen of these easy. <laughs> easy. Maybe have to put the, get some of these before we leave, right? I know, but the thing is, they have to be kept uh, refrigerated. At least semi cold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this this is a winner. Must try, babe. Yep. Wow. Game over, right? Wow. <laughs> that is. I, it, it looks amazing and you know it's a cream puff by the way it looks but it is extremely light that 
the little bread that's in it or the, the little a pastry the right? pastry yeah. that's that's surrounded in it super light I can probably eat about a half a dozen of those too baby <laughs> just pop them in the mouth now these are a little bit expensive but yeah you gotta try it you just have to try it that is excellent so yeah it looks like, now go and go for your one of your favorites this one is a this one here is a lemon tart yeah, with you, meringue. You know you gotta go for the lemon tarts everywhere yep. you go. Yep, so cute. Mm. Lemon is very pronounced in here. Oh, it's a little bit even on the tart side, but this is really good because the meringue is a little bit sweet. How's when it, I think of lemon tart, this is what I think about. How's it compared to like the French versions? I like the French version better, mm. but this is good. This is rum soaked. You can see that glisten on there and it feels kind of heavy. So it'd be interesting if I bite into it, if it's like juices. Mm. It juices. Moving. Yeah, see if we can see any. Holy moly, oh there oh, it is, yeah. right there. You can, yep. Oh, it leaked. Sorry baby, I inked on you. It's okay, babe. You can really taste the rum in this one. And not even just taste the rum, you can taste that this is boozed up. It's not oh, so, even the alcohol in it. Okay, so they didn't burn it off then. They did not burn off on this one, oh, okay. and it's served cold. So it's sweet. The bread is super soft because it's soaked in rum. Wow. I can imagine this with like a non-sweet drink. Rum is, you know, usually you have it with a sweet drink. This one is really good. It's gonna drip. That's how much rum is in this thing. So this is your bite, babe. That's a, that's a good thumbnail right there, babe. <laughs> a little dripping of the rum right there. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're ready. Ready, babe? Yeah, let's go, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna try the um three we're gonna try that pistachio a lot of good choices i don't know i know all right that's what we decided yep that's good aren't these the biggest nutella box bottles that you've seen they're humongous yeah they're pretty pretty big look at that I don't know if it's for display or do they actually sell these, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it's display, yeah. but I don't know. It's gelato time. Yep. There you go. So uh, we, have, we got the uh, pistachio, right? The pistachio. Uh, the caramel. The caramel's on the bottom and this one is the banana chocolate one. All right, there get, we go. get your little spoon. Sorry, my little spoon. And we know we butchered our cheers in the Italian restaurant, so we're gonna make up for it. Yeah, uh, it was called, uh, what was it? Ay, yeah, uh, 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 Chin Chin. No, chin Chin is one of them. Chin Chin is one, but uh, it's the other one. Um, oh, I forgot uh, what it is. Saluti? Uh, it's, it's, it's saluti. Saluti. Remember? Saluti. Just like your inglorious bastard thing, yes. babe. Yes, what you call me? Huh? <laughs> Maybe he likes the movie *Inglorious Bastards*. Right, cheers! cheers. Uh, salute, saluti. Saluti. Cheers. Oh, caramel's really—it's mm. it, sweet, but it has that great caramel flavor to it. Super creamy. Wow. Of course, that's what I expect from the gelato. The banana one is very banana-y. Mm. Um, the chocolate that's in it—it's crunchy. Mm. Let me see. Oh, it is. Yeah, interesting. Huh? Yeah, very banana -y. Really banana -y. Yeah. Of course, you know gelato. Very clean taste. Goes down super easy, and it's usually soft like this. It's not like an ice cream, which is usually super rock hard. So, this is going to go down well, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the uh, perfect dessert number two for lunch here at Italy. Yeah. 